ഈ ബസ് നമ്മളെ ടൗൺ ടൗണിൽ നിന്ന് ബാൻസ് ടൗൺ ടൗണിൽ നിന്ന് നമ്മളെ ഇവിടെ കൊണ്ടിറക്കും എന്നിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ഇതുവരെ ഇതാണ് നമ്മളിവിടെ ഇന്ന് ടുട്ടു പി ഇവിടെ ഉണ്ട് ചെറുതിനെ കണ്ടോ അടുത്ത ഇതാണ് ആ ടെർമിനൽ നമ്മൾ ബാൻസ് മറ്റേ കാട്ടിലേക്ക് പോകേണ്ടത് ഫസ്റ്റ് കാർട്ട് നമ്മൾ ഇതിൽ കയറിയാണ് യാത്ര ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമ്മളിപ്പം ബാൻഫിൻ്റെ ഗൊണ്ടാല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ സ്ഥലത്താണ് അപ്പം അവിടെ ഒരു ചെറിയൊരു കട ഒരു സ്റ്റാർ ബക്സ് ഉണ്ട് അപ്പം അതിൻ്റെ കൂടെ ഒരു ഗിഫ്റ്റ് ഷോപ്പാണ് നമുക്ക് മേടിക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്ന It's a kind of interesting period of time. There's two in the elk, which is the largest breed of animal that we have in the National Park. The riding season for the boys and the calving season for the ladies. Those are the two, and these uh, animals are, are the most dangerous animals that we have in the park. 
far as we make our way, we're going to make a right hand turn uh, down below. And as we come to the trap line, the building on the left is our administrative building, simply known as Cascade Gardens, the most uh, desirable walking gardens in our park when in bloom. And as we come by, you'll see the administrative building on the left. Arch buffet and the ground gardens that are there. So kind of that's uh, what all designed to keep them out. That's in Cascade Gardens where all the decisions for the National Park are made in that building. I'll tell you how it came into uh, effect and, and essentially into our landscape when we come back around. We're going to take a trip up this way, and as we do, no town across Canada would be complete with its own famous Chinese food restaurant. And this is ours in a town of Banff called the Silver Dragon. And that's it through here, and then from this traffic light to the next is our B&B, one of two sections in our community of Banff dedicated to the bed and breakfast industry. All type of shape, sizes, culture and language are spoken along these properties here along the stretch. So if you're a fan of that when you travel, this is a section you might consider. Or else there's a smaller one on the other side of town. That's uh, what you're looking at here in the property area. And as uh, we and those tourists were going to help fund the railroad through the pass. So we built the Bam Springs Hotel here in Bam the Chateau Lake Louise in Lake Louise, and the Palitzer Hotel in Calgary. He built them for the kings and queens, the presidents, prime ministers, and the wealthy of the day. The Bam Springs Hotel, originally here, this is the amenities side, so the soccer fields, tennis courts, and volleyball courts. On the far left-hand side of the tennis courts, you see the horse stables. <clears throat> it wasn't until the late 1960s where automobiles were first permitted inside the park. Prior to that, it was all serviced by the horse trade, this building, the Bam Springs Hotel, the middle section of the building, opened to the public in 1888. The secondary addition is the one where you see the Canada flag sticking off the roof here. When originally that was opened, when Van Horn went up into those rooms, it was originally deemed to be staff accommodations. But when Van Horn went up into those rooms and seen what great views his staff had, he quickly built everything you're seeing in the tree line, and those rooms quickly went to rent. The largest hotel in Western Canada boasting over 750 guest rooms, large ballrooms and foyers is the true testament of the time. We'll go around the courtyard here, and I'll just point out a couple highlights as we do. The bronze statue of the gentleman in the courtyard, that is William Cornelius Van Horn, and we believe he's pointing to his masterpiece, which is the hotel that you're seeing on your lap. The grand foyers and ballrooms and conference center off to the right leads uh, to a 24, seven days a week, 365 day a year attraction into the park. If you shield your eyes and look over the walking marquee, it says from 1888 to 1990, this was part of the Canadian Pacific Railroad properties. But something happened near the end of the 1980s where the management shift of the Canadian Pacific Railroad deemed they no longer wanted to be in the hotel business. So they started looking for suitors to purchase these properties. This property, the Bam Springs Hotel today, it just to secondary a note of that, when the Chateau Lake Louise became available, at the time it was owned by a Saudi prince, the Bow River, that will have it through the entire winter. It's uh, down here to take the road to its entirety, you come up to the clubhouse of the championship golf course. And as we turn here, there's a couple of beautiful photos to be had. As we turn here to the left, if you look off your left, this is beautiful 